What's going on everybody? Jack from Half Chrome. Today we're talking uh, lightweight drones and the Mavic Mini is super popular. One of the reasons is because it's under 250 grams and that is kind of like the magic number. And there are very few really good drones out there under 250 grams. Something there are a lot of are micros and these guys are almost always under 250 grams and they're a whole lot of fun to fly. I love flying micro drones. I love whoops, I love toothpicks. But these drones are almost always analog drones. You're not gonna find something under 100 grams that flies with DJI's digital FPV system. Or are you? See this guy? This is the half chrome toothpick and it uses DJI's Caddx Vista. Now, I built this thing myself, but I got it with DJI FPV under 100 grams. In fact, this thing is 95 grams. It is a whole lot of fun to fly. I prefer flying toothpicks because they're lighter, they're quieter, they're not nearly as noisy, they don't draw a crowd, but the drawback is they're almost always analog. And this guy with the Caddx Vista is not. It gives you that crisp, clear DJI FPV digital signal, which is absolutely superior. Now it's expensive, so you gotta keep that in mind. And this is really kind of an unrefined product. I've got some tuning to do with this, and I've got some other tweaks and mods before it's really perfect and quite right. But I wanted to show you what I did in case you're interested in doing something like this for yourself. So this guy, like I said, is 95 grams with a 3S450, which is what I mostly was flying it on. It's about 135 grams, and then with a 4S550, uh, lots of power there, then it was about 185 grams. So still absolutely under that magic number of 250, and you got the DJI Digital FPV system. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so what is this thing actually? Well, it's uh, mostly an Ishin VizWhoop. So you remember, uh, well, it, this is what it was. Uh, the Ishin VizWhoop was a uh, DJI Vista uh, Whoop, right? But it was just kind of oversized for a Whoop, really. It was a Cine Whoop, but not quite big enough for a Cine Whoop and two and a half inch props. And I thought, well, you know, flying it, it flew okay, but it just wasn't quite, you know, quite there, right? It had some acro abilities, but I really wanted to get three inch props on it, but I couldn't, right? Even taking these ducks off, the three inch props would get in the way. So I thought, uh, you know what? Let's do a transplant. So this is actually the frame from the Ishii Novice 3, um, and it's 135 millimeter frame, super light. And uh, you know what? The VizWhoop and the Novice 3 share the same flight controller. This F4 flight controller um, is pretty unique in that it's a flight controller, ESC, and VTX all in one. I thought, wow, that's a good place to start. Now, I don't actually need the VTX because I'm using the Caddx Vista unit, but um, if you don't have the DJI remote controller, you don't have to really add any extra weight uh, with this flight controller. So that's really pretty cool. If you want to fly FR Sky, that is. So uh, that doesn't matter for me because I'm using the DJI uh, controller hooked up to the Vista. So that's awesome. So these motors are 1204, 5000 KB. Um, I took this canopy, this beautiful chrome canopy, and I thought that's fitting for our channel, right? Half chrome. And uh, I, I used it. It just happened to fit perfectly on this frame. I pushed it out a tiny bit. Here's the thing. This is the, with the Caddx Vista, um, you know, things that I don't like, right? This camera is a little bit too tight. Um, in fact, I can't even get a screw in here to hold it in place. Now it is jammed in there. It is not moving. Um, so, and I can adjust the angle a little bit. I got to push it out, kind of jam it back in place. But when the uh, Caddx Nebula camera comes into stock, right, that'd be a better choice for this. Plus, I'd lose another three or four grams. But this is awesome because, like I said, it's under 100 grams. You cannot find a three inch DJI capable quad um, under 100 grams or even close, really, right now. I think the lightest is probably the Caddx Vista. 96 grams, uh, 95, 96. I just added a zip tie. You know, this is the smallest, this is the lightest three inch that I've seen so far. It's nice because it has that dead cat style. Um, 169 grams, 170 grams. Now it's still under 250 with your battery and that's pretty cool. 
but man, look at that, 95. Um, that's a winner. And, and you know, I would tweak some things here and there on this, but overall it flies nice, it looks sharp. Um, so this is kind of my new favorite drone. Now I would probably, you know, rather than just using these 1204, 5,000 KV motors. So some things I would change now, uh, like I said, this is basically just a transplant from the Vizwhoop to the um, Novice three frame. You know, I'd probably upgrade these motors. They're not the greatest, uh, but they do work, right? They're a decent size. They're totally suitable as uh, <laughs> Kebab might say. He's the man, right? If you don't, if you haven't been on um, Kebab FPV channel, Bob Rugi, he, he's the man of, uh, when it comes to toothpicks, he's really kind of uh, tuned them and built them. You know, his stuff, you know, if you can get stuff from FPV Cycle, do it. That's the best place to buy. But my thought was, I'm going to try and make this with what I have, and that's the Vizwhoop and this old Diatone uh, Standard Edition Pod 1755, right? This is a $5 piece. This frame is $13. Um, you know, I think these motors, if you wanted to, you know, buy them separately, are like $10 or $11. Bucks. But, you know, I think overall, if I was to build this from scratch with these exact parts, about $265, $275. HQ props, two blades, uh, that's the way to do it. Pretty nice. Overall, it's a pretty nice quad. Now, I did actually see Albert Kim released a video. He did pretty much the same thing. I'm kind of bummed that I wasn't able to get this out uh, before him where he took his Vizwhoop and he put it on actually a different frame. Um, and that one's heavier. I think it's 135, 100 something, 130 grams, something like that. So, you know, if you want light, it can be even lighter, right? Um, but with that, there are also trade-offs. So uh, we got to get outside and fly this some more, do some tuning. Uh, eventually, I'll probably swap the motors. I'll probably end up swapping the canopy, although I love that little half-chrome look to it, right? Half-chrome. Anyway, this is a fun quad, you know, DJI Digital FPV is the future and uh, stuff like this, they're coming, right? Um, this soon will be, you know, soon you'll be able to get this in your hands as well, right? Building this quad was actually pretty straightforward, but if you'd like to see how that went together, drop me a comment down below and uh, I'll produce that video for you. I uh, want to know what my people want. Thanks. This is not a perfect machine by any stretch of the imagination, right? This canopy, um, I like the look of it, the half chrome thing kind of going with, uh, with my channel theme. But, um, you know, I wasn't able to mount this camera exactly the way I wanted. With that new Nebula camera coming out uh, that'll attach to this Vista, that should solve that issue. Plus, it needs a tune. I'm thinking about putting this thing on Betaflight 4.2. I've heard really good things, especially for micros. So that's coming up too. When I'm flying 3S, I don't need uh, anything really to keep these props on. But switching to 4S, yeah, I threw a prop, right? So you're going to need to make sure that you uh, mount these propellers to uh, the motors here. So flying this thing is a whole lot of fun, and I've got a long way to go before it is really how I like it. Um, and, um, you know, I fully understand I'm not the world's greatest pilot. I'm not going to pretend that I am. I come from a DJI background, right? Um, this thing uh, does have DJI, but flying my Mavic Air and then going back to flying this, two totally different drones, uh, two totally different styles. So it's going to take me some time to kind of reacclimate to flying FPV, but I do really enjoy it. I'm really looking forward to getting out here and flying this thing some more. Hey, so hopefully this was helpful. Um, if, it, if it was, you know, there are some descriptions of the parts and things that I used um, down below. And make sure you check us out on halfchrome.com. We've got lots of really good information on this drone and a whole lot of others on our website. We've got everything from photography to FPV, so make sure you check us out. Hey, good luck and happy flying. I'm gonna take this thing, get outside, and do some more flying. Let's go.